How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Let's start here. So, it's tonight tonight. Are you making your season debut, or is that just you practicing, or what is it? No, I'm, uh, I'm ready to go. Finally, it's been a long process, so um, just trying to get better every single day, and uh, I've been feeling really good recently. Um, got cleared, so uh, I'm really looking forward to, to tonight, and finally getting out there with these guys. They, they've been battling for a little while. I wish I could have been out there, and um, just be out there in climate pledge too uh, for the first time for me. It's going to be pretty special. And so when you were kind of coming back through what you were coming back, like, A, what was it exactly? B, I know you said at one point you were trying to maybe hold off on surgery. So what was it like dealing with the unknown of that part? Yeah, just uh, lower body injury that can nag you for a little while and um, kind of uh, you know, a couple things had a setback, um, so that's kind of why it took so long. But no, it definitely uh, it, it's not fun sitting on your couch and, and watching the guys uh, go to battle every single night. So um, it's definitely one of those things where um, you know it's very frustrating. Just the fact that it was a slow process. But um, you know, for me, I, I can't thank the you know the staff here enough for working with me every day, trying to get back to where I am today and to set myself up. Uh, to su- to succeed and, and not go in there um, and you know possibly have another setback type of thing. So um, you know we worked really hard and really comfortable where I am right now. So uh, I'm I'm just excited to kind of put that in the past and just hit the ground running tonight. Have you talked much with coach about like what kind of role you're going to play early on here? They kind of easing you back in, or are you going to be throwing the fire? Or are you stuck in? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I I um, I don't really know 100. percent I know uh, we got a lot of good players on this team, and for me, I, I've been lucky enough over the last several years to be able to kind of play a bunch of different positions. So um, that's a beautiful thing uh, that I'm comfortable with about uh, whatever they need, I'm ready to do, whether I played left wing, right wing, center. So, um, and I feel like I can play up and down the lineup. And I think the great thing about our group too is we got a lot of good players that can also do that. So no matter what line you're playing on, um, and I've also been watching, you know, so I know kind of the, the characteristics and uh, the strengths of a lot of the guys that uh, I'll be playing with. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, we got a good line uh, out there this morning uh turbo geeks uh we, we, good balance line where i think turbo and i can uh get out there and hopefully fly around out there and i can try to keep up with them but uh now i'm really looking forward to it and uh just like i said uh it's it sucks kind of sitting on your couch watching and now you finally get a taste of it and watching it and uh one day closer it's uh it's gonna be a fun night you've been practicing for a couple weeks now with, with the guys does that help you learn them and have some chemistry with them so you're not just jumping in tonight not having able to play with those yeah, I, mean, I think going on that road trip was good for me just because I, uh, you know, I would have been just kind of at home uh, skating by myself. So just fa- that's finally when I, I got into some practices out there in, in Vegas uh, in Phoenix and, um, you know, getting some reps here. I think that's one of those things where you can skate all you want, but it's hard to replicate in a game-like situations, even practice-like situations. So, yeah, I, I've been doing a lot of skating on my own, just little drills like that, but to kind of get a lot of the, the feel and there's just a lot of things that, you know, take a little while to, to get used to after missing a little bit of time and timing is kind of everything so um, for me like I recognize that it's going to be a little bit of a, an adjustment period but just being able to get those um, handful of practices and skates under my belt I think go a long way. So when you were talking about how you were on your couch watching like for you what does that look like is it one of those things where you're just watching it to watch it or are you taking notes or are you also looking at game film after the fact the next day like what does that process look like for you? Yeah, um, so I, I watch the games as if I, I'm going to kind of be in the lineup the next night. So um, that's why I like watching um, here live. Um, it just gives you a little bit different uh, vantage point watching uh, from up top and being able to see the plays and um, a little bit of a hockey nerd. So um, I don't necessarily take stats, but I think at this point in time from watching all the guys, you kind of know what everybody's attributes is, what they like to do, kind of what their game is. And um, for me, it's kind of making the players around you a little bit better by playing to you know their strength sets and um, just trying to be like like a Swiss Army knife kind of um, I think you know there's going to be some games when you know you'll be able to score a goal or make a nice play or something along those lines and then other times your job is going to be to bring some energy block a shot make a hit whatever it is and um, I think we got a lot of those guys too in our lineup which is exciting and just from watching from afar um, you know you see kind of what I hopefully can can bring to the team and, and kind of what my role is a little bit and, and what I've been kind of my whole career and that's just be able to play with a lot of energy and um, I'm not going to really change anything that I've kind of done my whole entire life and uh, I think uh, hopefully it'll go well. That said, I mean, how do you balance that? The excitement of you're coming back, you're making your season debut, but at the same time, you're a guy that last year, if it's an 82 game schedule, you score 20, 21 goals. So like, how do you balance that excitement knowing like, hey, this is another year for you to kind of show people like, what you did last year, this is the new norm. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not a new year. It's kind of every single day you're trying to prove yourself, and especially that's been my mindset ever since you know I came into the league type of thing. I, I Every single day I've come to the rink and not known if I've been in the lineup or anything along those lines. So my mentality doesn't really change because it's not what you did for me yesterday. It's what you do for me to today. That's kind of my mindset. And, um, you know, last year was good, but it's a completely different situation, different group of guys, different role, and it's going to change every single night. So, um, you know, point production and stuff like that, like, you know, as of right now, like we're just looking to string some wins, uh, and for me, just you know, get some my feet wet underneath me and get comfortable out there. So um, I recognize that you know I'm a realist, so I know it's not going to jump right back into the exact same game shape that I was last year or anything along those lines. Um, and I'm just for me, it's really just trying to get better every single day to get back to to where I was. And I think uh, you know, unfortunately, I've been able to. Well, I've been injured in in my career and I've been able to bounce back pretty quickly so I think uh, I know what it takes to kind of get back to that level and I know what at least made me successful last year so I think uh, just kind of doing the little things right and I I think I truly believe if you do that then you get rewarded Um, so uh, I'm just looking out there to to, you know just play pretty simple right from the get-go and I think uh, just climb the ladder that way. All right, all set. Thank you.